Good morning, everyone. Wayne Motts, the President Emeritus and Historian here at the Gettysburg Foundation on a beautiful morning on the Gettysburg Battlefield for July 3rd, 1863 for our segment of the Wall of Faces Casualties at Gettysburg, where we do one Union and one Confederate soldier roughly on the same part of the battlefield. Now, right behind me is the trench works for Brigadier General George Sears Green and the Union forces that fought here on July 2nd and July 3rd, 1863. And for this installment, the Confederate soldier that we've chosen on the Wall of Faces is Benjamin Watson Lee. Major Lee was the adjutant general, which is basically the chief staff officer for Edward Allegheny Johnson's division in Richard Yule's Confederate Corps here in the Battle of Gettysburg. On July 2nd, 1863, when the Confederate soldiers attacked over here at Culp's Hill, they're in the low ground over here behind me in front of where the Union trenches are located here on Culp's Hill. Major Lee's riding around. His chief job would have been to give orders. Now, he's got a fast fascinating history. He's born January 18, 1831. He's 32 years old here in the Battle of Gettysburg, and he is the son of a United States Senator and very prominent lawyer, Benjamin Watson Lee Sr. And as a privileged young Southerner, Lee, who grew up in a privileged style, will uh, have the best of all the education that he can get, and also managing the farms and estates. I should say, of his father. Of course, this will come with a number of enslaved persons. Now, Lee, at the beginning of the American Civil War, was married. He got married in 1855. He ended up having three children. And in 1861, he will get a commission in the 42nd Virginia Volunteer Infantry Regiment. Then he will be attached to the staff of General Ambrose Powell Hill. And as a staff member of Hill's staff on the night of the 2nd of May, 1863, Lee will actually be with Hill and Stonewall Jackson when Jackson is mortally wounded. Of course, Jackson dies on May 10, 1863. In the Battle of Gettysburg, Lee is on Johnson's staff, as we mentioned. He's here on the 2nd, and then on July 3rd, 1863, he's riding around out here over here behind me, and near in front of us, at least according to the accounts, he sees a white flag go up for soldiers of the 4th Virginia Volunteer Infantry Regiment. This is Stonewall Jackson's old Stonewall Brigade. These soldiers are going to surrender because they're actually out in a ledge out here in front of this line, and they've been fired at for the last couple days. When Lee sees this, he's mortified, so he rides up in his horse, tries to encourage them, tries to rally, and the colonel of the 7th Ohio Volunteer Infantry Regiment, right near where we're standing, says that this officer is shot down. He's a very prominent figure here, Lee is, riding around as a Confederate officer on horseback around Culp's Hill down the slope, and he's mentioned in a number of counts here. He's killed in action here on July 3rd. His body is buried on the battlefield, and he actually has a marked grave on the Elliott burial map. Now, meanwhile, in 1864, his body is retrieved. It's taken to the John S. Giddings Vault, which is in Baltimore, Maryland, in Greenmount Cemetery, pretty famous cemetery. This is where Isaac Trimble of the Confederate Army uh, here at Gettysburg wounded, dies later on uh, after the American Civil War. It's where he's buried. And, of course, the Booth family plot, the unmarked grave of John Wilkes Booth, also in Greenmount Cemetery. Well, Benjamin Watson Lee's body is held in this vault until 1866, and then he is taken to the family plot in a Richmond Cemetery. So Richmond is his native place. Benjamin Watson Lee Jr., major in the Confederate Army, on the wall of faces here in the Museum and Visitor Center at Gettysburg, and killed in action on July 3rd, right out in front of us, in front of the trench works of George Green's position here for July 3rd. Now, let us move up to the top of the hill and let's bring in our Union counterpart to the wall of faces. That will be Major Josh Palmer of the 66th Ohio Volunteer. Infantry Regiment. 
Okay, everyone, we're up here on the top of Culp's Hill, and now we're going to talk about the Union Soldier, our counterpart for our video today on the Wall of Faces, Casualties of Gettysburg. We just got done talking about Major B. Watson Lee of General Allegheny Johnson's staff, a Confederate officer killed here at Gettysburg on July 3rd. And now, at the summit of the hill, we're going to talk about Major Joshua Palmer of the 66th Ohio Volunteer Infantry Regiment, one of the regiments fighting here at the summit of Culp's Hill. Over my right shoulder on the left of your screen is General George Sears Green, 62 years old here in the Battle of Gettysburg. Green will be the man that will have most of their defense here for the Union Army 12th Corps. Now on July 1st, 1863, these units that were up here on top of this hill, including the 66th Ohio, spent the night just north of where Little Round Top uh, is located. Some of the units actually spent the night on top of Little Round Top, but the 66th Ohio is just north of Little Round Top. Josh Palmer, who is the major in that unit, is born January 3rd, 1829, and he's from Monroe County, New York. That is uh, Rochester is the county seat, and his uh, native place is just north and west of where Rochester is located. He's the son of Samuel Palmer, who was a very prominent farmer, a Connecticut native, and his wife, Rebecca Bowles. Now, we know from the census record that the Palmers had quite a nice farmstead there in Monroe County, but Palmer relocates out of Monroe County to Urbana, Ohio, Champaign County. Now that's located west of Columbus, Ohio, which is at the state capital. In Urbana, Joshua Palmer becomes a dentist. And when the Civil War breaks out, he joins the 2nd Ohio Volunteer Infantry Regiment. Then he gets a commission. He becomes captain of Company H of the 66th Ohio Volunteer Infantry Regiment. And then at the Battle of Gettysburg, he has the rank of major. The 66th Ohio spending the night over at Little Round Top, move up here on July 2nd, 1863, remain here. They're pulled off of this hill to go down to the lower parts of the battlefield, and then they will return. Now, of course, the Confederates are going to be in much of the lower trenches here, but the 66th Ohio will come back up here and have a support line for General George Green. On the morning of July 3rd, 1863, the 66th Ohio Volunteer Infantry Regiment, with Major Palmer as one of its field and staff officers, will come right over my left shoulder and move down and come perpendicular at a 90 degree angle to these trenches and fire into the Confederate forces that are attacking here on July 3rd. Now let's move down to where Palmer actually is because he's outside this trench line for General Green. We just moved off the crest of Culp's Hill a very short distance and we came down the east side of the hill outside of where the trench line would be for general george sears green on july uh, july 2nd and july 3rd 1863. we're at the small memorial to the 66th ohio which was placed here in memoriam in memory of joshua palmer who was killed here on july 3rd the subject of our sketch now if you go down off the right of the screen to my left shoulder, you're on a very big ledge, I should say. You're on a, a ledge of rocks and it drops off very preci precipitously, drops off very precipitously after you leave off the right of where your screen is. Palmer apparently came down here on the morning uh, of the third when they got into position here. He's on this rock looking at the Confederate line as it's coming up for attack, and a sharpshooter reportedly shoots him in the left lung. He takes a bullet wound in the left lung. This is a mortal wound. Four soldiers from the 66th Ohio carry him back up to the top of the hill, get him up inside the Union Trench line for safety, and reportedly his last words were, stay with the boys. I'll be back with you soon. Unfortunately, Palmer was taken to the 2nd Division of the 12th Union Army Corps Hospital, and he died July 10, 1863. Major Palmer was then taken to Parma Corner Cemetery in Monroe County, New York, his native place, and he was uh, buried there. So today, the body of Major Josh Palmer of the 66th Ohio Volunteer Infantry Regiment, a native New Yorker, actually rests in Monroe. Monroe County, New York. I sure hope you've enjoyed this segment of 
Wall of Faces Casualties at Gettysburg featuring Benjamin Watson Lee of the Confederate Army of Johnson Staff and Major Joshua Palmer of the Union Army of the 66th Ohio Volunteer Infantry Regiment. Both of these men killed on July 3rd. Both of these men killed on July 3rd, 1863. If you like these videos, be sure you subscribe, follow us on social media. Thanks for being with us.